I'm good. Of course, my pencil runs out of lead. Welcome back, I guess. So now we've got our tops all glued up. We're going to thin them out because if you don't get the right thickness to the top, you're not going to get the right sound. I normally don't think about the thickness or I can't say, yes, make all of your tops 2.1 millimeters or 2.2 or 1.9 or 1.8. Every piece of wood is different. So you're going to have to use you know, mainly your sense of touch. When Antonio Torres was on his deathbed, uh, the priest came by and said, Don Antonio, please tell me the secret to your making. And he says, Father, I cannot. Because the secret to my lake making lies between my fingertips and my thumb. Meaning he felt every single piece of wood and worked until that piece of wood was just right. So today we're going to be doing that. Uh, unlike Antonio Torres, we're not going to sit here with a hand plane making a mountain of shavings and probably causing early onset asthma, but we're going to use uh, our dust collector and a thickness sander, which uh, it's a fairly rare machine, but it works really, really well. There's other thickness sanders out there. There's plenty of plans for simple ones that you can make at home that will really, really work well. So let's go do it. So uh, for most guitars, I start with this outer uh, template and it's made out of clear plexiglass uh, yes it's dirty but who cares I use it so that way I can see through it I can figure out which direction I want the grain to be going I can see you know if there's any defects that I can avoid uh, or you know if I have the option of avoiding something or um, I can look and see the motion of the grain in the context of the top and um, since this is a, such a really nice piece of wood, I don't have to worry too terribly much about any of this. So I'm just going to place it where I think it looks aesthetically the best. And uh, I'm going to grab my pencil and uh, nothing fancy. You don't have to go crazy. Um, you know, I like these purple ones just because I can find them really quickly because I never lose these, right? What? You're always looking for them. Well, it makes it easier, right? I guess. <sighs> Alright. You still lose them. Fair enough. So, grab your pencil. Don't have to be too terribly precise. We're just cutting a rough outline. This is going to be our inner limit for everything that we're going to do. So I'm not I'm not gonna freak out if I've got a little bump in here. Because anything that I do from this point forward, I'm gonna start you know, maybe an inch or so outside of that line, and I'm gonna cut around here. Again, it's not important. This is just so that it can fit into my thickness sander, because my thickness sander is only 18 inches wide, and I like to have a little bit of extra space. So now we've done this for the top, and then we're gonna do it for the back as well. Now, normally, this would be a little bit close for my taste in terms of, of the back and the spacing, but because this is a smaller guitar and the whole pattern is going to be slightly shrunken, of course my pencil runs out of lead. Okay, I found another one, quickly. So, because this is a smaller body. I'm not going to worry too terribly much about if I've got a little bit of an overhang because everything from here on out is going to be slightly smaller. So uh, I'm going to get lined up on the center line and um, I'm just going to give it a quick trace around. So that way I can see exactly where I want to be. And again, I'm probably just going to be cutting around here, roughly, and around here, roughly. 
I'm not going to worry about the waist. And again, this is all going to be slightly oversized and it's going to be cut down at a later point in time. So I'll see you over at the bandsaw. All right. So here we're at the bandsaw. Uh, I'm using a 3 8 inch blade. Uh, this is kind of my all purpose run through anything blade. Uh, you know, I can run through some pretty nasty stuff and get a reasonably straight cut. Uh, I can do reasonably detailed cut. Um, you know, if I'm doing a highly intricate, I'll move down to an eighth. If I'm doing heavy resaw, I'll use an inch on this bandsaw. But for the most part, I use a 3 8 blade. And uh, unlike the other uh, video that we did not too long ago, uh, I'm not poking at the sharp stuff with my finger anymore. So I'm learning. We're on a journey together. So, uh, the other thing is with the, the 3 8 inch blade, this is really a good sp uh, size to be able to make the cut of the waist of a guitar. Uh, a little bit smaller than this, and it's a little bit uh, almost too difficult to do because it wants to move too much. And if it's bigger than this, you're going to have to take a couple relief cuts. So what we're going to do is we're going to run our stuff through here. I like to run the guard open just because I can see my pencil lines. Um, one of the other problems with having the guard really low, yes, you get a more accurate cut, but at the same time, I can't see exactly what I'm doing, and I tend to cut fairly close to a pencil line if I need to. This is not as crucial of a pencil line. Uh, we're just establishing a rough guitar-shaped object instead of a final cut, but needless to say, I don't adjust my guards too much just because there's no need to it. So, let's get our ear protection on. Because uh, I said that I'm going to work better about it. Uh, I have my eye protection on. So uh, let's cut. So we're done using the sander. We've got it mostly to thickness. Um, at this point, this is more or less the flexibility I'm looking for. I might go a little thinner because there's a few things I want to do with this top. Uh, and I haven't fully decided yet. So I'm giving myself the option to do something more with it. So this one sounds pretty good. And then likewise with the back, I'm, you know, there's... A little bit less that goes into the back in terms of the sound. Uh, it's more of a reflection plate, but it does color the sound, so I do like to listen as well. So, uh, that's more or less what I'm looking at. And then the sides are also thinned out down to uh, two millimeters, so they're ready to go. If you want to see more material like this, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you want uh, a shirt like this or uh, one of my great practice juice mugs, please visit my website. The link's in the description. And, um, boy. 
Um, for five hundred dollars off, use promo code YouTube to buy one of these guitars. And if you want, I can build this online as a video for you. Have a good one. I'll see you at the next one. Hey, hey.